right, guys, it is Sunday fun day, and we are working on the Model A today. What else would we do, right? What the hell else would we do? Sit in the house and watch CNN and get our head all full of bullshit? Ha! Screw that. It's Model A day. So, what we're doing today is we got a windshield we're going to install. Boom, boom, boom. Um, got her up in the air, hiked up in the air. I'm hoping to get my new oil pan on there today. If you remember on the last video, I was saying that Unfortunately, the pan I put on the car has got a couple little wee pin holes in it, leaked a little oil, so we're going to get the new pan on there today. We're going to get the rad in it, the grill shell on it, like I say, the windshield. Um, yeah, we're just going to get a few things done. I did manage during the week to swap out the belt one evening. It gives me like an eighth of an inch of adjustment still on this belt, and this one's pretty tight. And I still got lots of clearance between the alternator and my valve cover there. So uh, we're good there. Uh, I didn't go get my brass screws yet for my little tags here that go here, but I did polish them up with my trusty, the answer to every solution, auto saw. Polished them up and I put them away back away in the office. So, uh, yeah, we're going to try and get some more done, this old girl, and hopefully the plan is to get it running here next week. Or this week coming, I should say. It's Sunday today, so one day this week. Um... That is the goal. I think we'll just fire it up right here on the stands. Just in case something, something's a little wonky, last thing we want to do is you try and fire it up and the sucker slips into gear or something goes wrong and it launches forward, you don't know. So we'll try and, uh, we'll try and flash her up right here. We'll have to get our, our plates on here with our caps. Maybe we can get that done today. Um, if I've got some nice bolts for that, I don't know if I do. But uh, that is the plan, so uh, well. Let me figure out where I'm going to start. I'm probably going to start with the rad, to be honest, because uh, I just don't remember what I what I did or how I or how I did it. So I want to start with the thing that's the most difficult to me at the moment. There we go. Okay. Okay, I got my rad set in place. Um, this is a Champion radiator. Some people like them, some people don't. I've run them in a lot of cars, and uh, you look them up online. Champion radiators—they're inexpensive. They're actually you can't redo your rad for what they'll sell you a nice aluminum rad for. I painted it black obviously because I didn't want to see that that shininess through the grill show when it's done. Um, so I, let's say some people like these rads, some don't. I've ran them in several cars and I have yet to have an issue yet and uh, that's all I can tell you. So when you're bolting these rads down on a Model A, remember that you've got your cross member, then you got a, like a little rubber gasket, bushing, whatever you want to call it in there, cushion, Washer, spring, washer, nut. And then you can read online where you think you should tighten it at. I double nutted it once I did get it tight, so there's no movement there. So that's that's how it should be done, or at least that's how I've always been known that it's been done. And then I got my rods here, which I haven't tightened up yet, but I had fitted this a long time ago, this car. If you remember way back in the videos, I had fitted this. So these rods pretty much are gonna stay where they are. I just gotta snug them up now because when I fitted it the first time, I never moved the adjustment. I uh, got my lower rad hose on, nice, no kinks. So I'm going to go get my thermostat, my thermostat housing. I got one that's adjustable, can turn wherever I want and try and figure that out. I want to try and get all this stuff done before I actually put the grill shell itself on, right? Because the grill shell's painted, I don't want to be leaning up a freshly painted part. So this is coming along quite good. That's, that's not bad. Between finding the parts and getting this done, I've only been out in the shop for an hour. Huh. Pretty good. Okay, so I got, my get got to run the other side here. I got the uh, the bars all tightened up, and uh, I got my thermostat housing on, my upper rad hose, so everything is good and uh, good and tight there. The more I think about this, I'm not going to put the grill shell on today. As much as I would like to, I'm not going to, and I, I know you already all guessed why I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it off till I fire this car up just in case there's a mark, a scratch or something, or not a scratch, but if there's, a, if there's something goes wrong and I have to pull the grill shell off, I don't want to scratch it taking it off. So you never know, there could be a leak, there could be anything. So I'm just going to leave it off. I mean, all it does basically is it's got four places where it bolts, two on either side, and that's it, it's on. So I'm just going to leave it off. So I'm going to move on to something else now. Maybe the windshield. Okay, I got my windshield in. I gotta pull the tape off it on the inside, but I got it in there. Since I put the camera down, you will not fucking believe this, this was nearly two hours. Unbelievable. Um, 
and it wasn't because I couldn't find the parts. <laughs> that took around 15, 20 minutes actually, so I just spent just over an hour to get this thing in. Just lining it up and fitting it and getting the rubbers back in place and everything. You know, it just was a nightmare. Got it in there and then it didn't want to close. So then I had to hike it up in the air and kind of hold it out of the way while I try and, you know, those bolts that go across the cowl all the way across here onto this piece I showed you last time that I put on. Bolts go through there. So I had to get through there and try and tighten them up even more. I mean, I, I tightened them a fair amount. I didn't want to get carried away tightening them just for the fact that, you know, you don't want to disturb any body work that might have been done there. But I tell you, it was a, uh, it was a nightmare. It was just, I was out like, just like this much. The window on the bottom was hitting up in there. It wouldn't close. So I had to get underneath the dash and tighten everything down and thank God she just clears now. So it is a swing out windshield. I left it a swing out windshield. Some people make them fixed. Um, I might open it, but I highly doubt I ever will ever again. I, I should have maybe, I wanted to leave that because I think it's old school nostalgic. Um, but maybe, you know, I should have filled them in and not had them. But I, I like the fact it can still swing out. The reason I probably won't swing it out anymore is because I put my 32 cal vent in. That's the whole idea, right? The thing is with this is I can pop it. It's got a vent. I'm not getting bugs and shit on my face. You pop the window. Most bugs are going to hit the windshield still, but there's a chance they're going to come in this way or that way. You know what I mean? And so whatever. I mean, I guess they come in the side glass too when you got the side windows down. But you kind of know what I'm saying, right? That's why the the cow vent is there. I did leave the holes up top in there. You can see them. Well, maybe you can't. It's so dark. I don't know if I zoom in if you'll see them. Anyway, they're in the windshield frame up in there for the wiper, but I'm not having a wiper, but they are there. So I guess I'll pull this tape off now, and um, I don't know, we'll see where we go next. I still got to do this oil pan too. I still got to get on that, but the oil pan is simple. All the bolts are out of it. I've only got four bolts holding it on. That's not worrying me. Um, this other stuff is more concerning right now to get this other shit on, because uh, the oil pan is just an easy job. So, well... Let's continue on. Okay, so I got the uh, I got my license plate holder on the back there. I can't get the got the door closed here, so it's kind of hard to show you guys. But there you go, kind of that nice classic look. I got some round pencil tips to put on the exhaust. Got to do that when it's up on the hoist, and I can um, just give them a little tack weld on each one. I like to tack them on there. Uh, come around here. I'll put my little. You just kind of line your door up when it closes. I forget what they call them. Dovetails or striker plates. I, nah, not that. But anyway, I can't exactly remember. Obviously, I got all my mechanisms in now for my window. All right, that's finished. Um, put my turndowns on. So I can run these open if I want. You put it, um, there's a fiberglass pack muffler insert you put in there. Uh, I'm very seldom going to run them open if I did it all. Um, when I had the flathead in, I ran them open, and I tell you, within 20 minutes of driving it, I just couldn't take it no more. The car's going to be loud enough out the back, so I just made myself a block-off plate, put it in between here, put a gasket on it, and uh, some nice stainless bolts, and there we go. So I got those on. Um, got spreader bar on the front, between the frame. Some people like the V ones. I went for the nice, plain, straight one. Um, yeah. So I got that done. Rear view mirror. Got the rear view mirror in place. Got that in there. Not that it gives you, not that you see a hell of a lot out of it when you're driving. I'm gonna have a peep mirror on the other door. Just one, just one. So uh, I still gotta do the pan here, but uh, there's no point in me filming me doing the pan and showing you that. It's under the car. I'm just, I'm just leaving it here. It's pretty much the end of the day now. So I'm probably gonna drop that pan off and put the other one on. I'm trying to think what else is coming next. I gotta get my, my glass in place next. Um, I'm just going to go dig through my bits and pieces, but with that being said, there isn't much more to show you, so I think I'm just going to call it a day for you guys and uh, say thanks for watching. Thanks for staying tuned. I'm glad you're uh, enjoying the build. So, I post lots of pictures on my Facebook page, Old Time Garage, and my Instagram. My Instagram is ricks underscore Old Time Garage. So, you can find me there. So, uh, yeah, i got to put some water in it. I always run water when I fire them up. I don't put antifreeze in right away, just in case there's a leak or something going on. No point in having that shit run all over. I'd sooner deal with water leaking out than antifreeze, just a pain. 
But uh, got to get some oil in there once I put the pan on. And then um, my torque converter, I put a little bit of fluid in it before I put it together. I won't put any tranny fluid in this car until I'm actually ready to start it. Uh, that's about it there. And hopefully we got no leaks anywhere. But, but with that being said, there's always a little something that's probably going to leak, right? Um, the other thing I got to do too is I got to get a battery for the car and then I got to put some gas in it and I got to hook the power up and flip the power on and get the gas up to everything and just double check everything. I kind of went over it all. I think it's all pretty good and tight, but like I said, I got to double check it. Brakes I know aren't leaking. I've gone through those lots, differentials full of fluid. It's not leaking. So we're good there. So now we just got to hope we got no gas leaks and no fuel leaks and no oil leak and no tranny leak but I don't see the transmission leaking honestly I think we're good I think we're safe on that one too it's all new so um, that's it so hey thanks for watching thanks for subscribing Sunday fun days over for you guys I'm gonna spend as we can see as the clock on the wall says right up there the old Ford clock it says it is quarter after four I'm gonna spend the next 45 minutes hopefully dropping a pan off and putting a new one on and I'm going in at five o'clock and calling it a day and relaxing and i uh, going to go have fun on my, I think it's my fourth or fifth Monday off. All right? Semi-retirement is good. <laughs> See you later.